Entretien. Le Président, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Today, the chamber will hear a testimony of a witness uh, to TC W915 Greffier, Ms. Sakolviti. Uh, please report the attendance of the parties whom the chamber has invited to attend the proceedings today. Cycle VT. Mr. President, Monsieur for today's Président, proceedings, all parties to the case uh, are present except uh, Mr. Nguyen Chi, who is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has requested to waive his right to be present in this courtroom. The waiver has already been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to testify today, uh, that is 2TCW915. The witness um, says that, to the best of his knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, um, Nun Chia and Kilsen Porn, or to any of the civil parties admitted to this case. The witness uh, took an oath before the Iron Club statue this morning, uh, before uh, coming to testify, and he is um, accompanied by Mr. Mung Savan as the duty counsel, and we also have a reserve um, civil party to TCCP 269 uh, awaiting today. Thank you, Mr. President. The President, thank you. Uh, before uh, inviting the witness uh, to come to the courtroom, the chamber would rule on the waiver of uh, Mr. Nunchier. Um, the chamber now decides on the request by Nunchier. The chamber has received a waiver from Mr. Nunchier uh, dated uh, the 20. Uh, 4th of August 2015, uh, which states that due to his health reason of headache, back pain, uh, he cannot uh, sit or concentrate for a long time, and in order to effectively participate in the future hearing, he fails his right to participate in uh, the proceedings today. Having seen the medical report of Nunchia by the duty doctor for the accused uh, at the ECCC dated the 24th of August 2015, who notes that Mr. Nunchia has a back pain uh, when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber grant him a request and allow him to follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. So based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchia leave to follow today's proceeding remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means for the whole day uh, proceedings uh, today. Um, so as Mr. Nguyen Chia has waived his right to be present in the courtroom, the chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceedings, and that applies for the whole day. And the chamber now asks the uh, court officer to bring uh, the witness and his duty counsel to uh, the courtroom.
The President, Mr. Witness, uh, what is your name? Response. My name is Choi Hoi. Question. When were you born? Response. I was born in the year of dragon. Je suis né dans l'année du dragon. Question. Questions. Uh, do you remember the date? Vous souvenez-vous de la date? A response. Réponse. It was in 1957. C'était en 1957. Question. Thank you, Mr. Choi Hoi. Question. Where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Response. Réponse. In Tmei village. Dans le village de Tmei. The president. Your uh, birthplace, uh, please tell the court your village, uh, commune, district, and province uh, of uh, Cambodia if you were born in uh, Cambodia back then. Response. In uh, my village, Nam Tao commune, Nung Krok district, Bante Menjai province. Question. How about your uh, current address? Where are you currently residing? Qu'en est-il de votre adresse actuelle? Response. Réponse. In uh, the same uh, village and endroit. commune, to my uh, village, village de Nam Tao commune. Question. Commune is it the same? Uh, the same uh, village le même and village? commune? Et la même commune? Response. Réponse. Yes, that is correct. Oui, In the same village. Question. Exact, même village, même so, question. then at that time it was not in Bante Menchai province. Uh, in the previous uh, regime, uh, it was actually in Battambong province. So your birthplace at that time was in Battambong province. It was not in Bante Menchai province. Réponse. Response. Yes, that is correct. Vous avez it raison. was back then in Battambang province. La province de Battambang. Question. Question. What is your current occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Response. I am Réponse. a rice farmer, Mr. President. Question. Question. Thank you. How about your parents? What is your father's and mother's name? Comment s'appellent vos parents? Response. My father's Réponse. name is Nyep Choi, Choi, and my ma mother's name was Nyep Sun. Nyep Sun. Questions. How about your wife? Uh, what Question. is her name? And Et do you have any children? Des Response. Réponse. My wife's name is Chung Tuk, Tuk, and we have got six children. Six Question. Thank to Mr. Choi Hoi. Merci, Monsieur Choi Hoi. Uh, based on the report uh, by uh, the Greffier just now, you are not related uh, by blood or by law to the co accused, Mr. Nguyen Chia and Mr. Kyo Zumpon, or the civil parties uh, admitted to K002. Is that correct? Yes, exact. Respond, that is correct. C'est exact. Questions and the greffier also says that uh, you have already taken an oath uh, before uh, you come to testify before us. Is that correct? Yes, exact. Respond yes. Response, oui. 
Now I advise you uh, in your capacity as the witness before the chamber, Mr. Choi Hui, as the witness in the proceeding before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any statement uh, which may incriminate you, that is the right against self-incrimination. Uh, as for your obligations, Mr. Uh, Choi Hui, as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or statement to those questions may incriminate you as the chamber has informed you of your right as a witness. You must tell the truth and nothing but the truth uh, that you have known, heard, seen, remember, experienced or observed directly about an event or occurrences relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. Mr. Choi Hui. Has you ever uh, provided any testimony or interview to the investigator of the Office of Investigating Judges? If you have, how many times have you done it and where uh, did they take place? Response, I uh, did it once in Thmai Kangfong village. Questions, uh, when was it? Response, I do not recall it. Question. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Choi Hoi. Before uh, coming to testify Merci, before the court uh, today, have you reviewed um, or revisited uh, the record of interview when you uh, gave to the investigator in the Bank and Bone Village? response that I do not recall. I have uh, forgotten je most of it. Pas, je, je Questions, but have you reviewed or read, read or have you got anybody read back uh, to you the you record of interview you gave uh, in the Mankangtabo village Proceed before you came to come here? Response, I have read, but réponse. after reading it, I have forgotten lu, most of it. Questions. Question. So, uh, after reading to the best of your recollections, can you tell the court that the record of mm, interview of, of your uh, uh, you uh, conducted at Chen Gang Tabong in uh, my village uh, is it uh, consistent uh, with uh, the, what you told the investigators back then? Response. Réponse. Yes, I agree. It's uh, oui. consistent with what I said uh, with the uh, investigator Je at the time. Mr. Chun Hoi, now you have Le one duty counsel that Monsieur is uh, appointed, appointed by the chamber uh, through the witness and support uh, section uh, in accordance with your request, Mr. Nguyen so Wan. And um, have you consulted with your duty counsel before you come uh, to uh, the courtroom? Response. I do not have any comment. The president, in examining uh, examining uh, this witness, uh, based on a Rule 91 bis, uh, the chamber uh, will uh, give the floor to the prosecutor to put the questions before any other parties do the proceeding. Uh, please uh, note that both uh, the prosecution and the lead co-lawyers for the civil parties will have two sessions to put the question to this uh, witness during the examination. Now you may proceed. Prosecution. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning to all parties and good morning to Mr. Witness. I am representing the uh, Office of uh, Co-Prosecutor, and I have a few questions uh, to put to you this morning. 
first of all, I would like you to tell the court uh, before 1975, that is the 17th of April 1975, uh, where did you live and what did you do back then? Response. At that time, I uh, enter Mang Hut uh, in a uh, local pagoda in my uh, locality. Question. Question. So you enter Mang Hut. Uh, what year was it? Uh, and and with, with okay, which uh, pagoda? Comment s'appelait la pagode? Response. Response. I uh, enter Manghut in 1957 in Nam Tao Pagoda. Dans la de Tao. Questions. Question. Uh, you uh, said uh, that you enter Manghut. Uh, what or how old were you at the time? To Quel your recollection. Response, I was uh, 21 years old. J'avais 21 ans. Question. Question. Um, how long uh, did you, um, you know, stay as a monk in that pagoda? Combien Response, I uh, was a monk in that pagoda for pagode. two years. Réponse, pendant deux ans. Question. Question. So you enter Manghut before uh, the 17th of April 1975, is that correct? Uh, was it before uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, came to power or it was after uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, era? Response. It was before the Khmer Rouge uh, regime. Question. How about in your um, village, in your locality, when did the Khmer Rouge um, so-called liberate your Quand village? Les Khmer Rouge ont Response. Uh, I do not village. recall. Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. You say Question. that uh, you were a monk uh, for two years. And were you still a monk uh, before the Khmer Rouge uh, came to power? Uh, why did you leave Mang Hut? Uh, was it because the Khmer Rouge uh, forced you or what? Response. I left Mang Hut when uh, the war uh, broke up. And at that time, the Khmer Rouge uh, burned down the village, and including the pagoda. Brûlé le village, y compris la pagode. Quest, question. So, uh, I, do I understand you correctly question. that you left Manghut because your pagoda was burned down by the Khmer Rouge? Is that correct? Les Khmer Rouge ont incendié votre pagode. Est-ce exact? Response. Response. I did not know actually who uh, burned uh, en fait, down sais, the uh, pagodas. I, I could pagode. not stay in the pagoda anymore because it was burned down already. Question. Question. Mr. Witness, in your record of interview uh, with the investigators of, of the Office of Co-Investigating Jazz, E382, uh, here and in Khmer, 0029-5941, English 0032-1196, French 00702918. You told the investigator that uh, when the Khmer Rouge uh, arrived, uh, they uh, burned down the pagodas and then they uh, forced the monks to leave uh, the pagoda. So I would like to uh, dwell a bit on this uh, event. When the Khmer Rouge arrived, where were you and what was the overall? Uh, situation at the time. Nous la situation? Response. Réponse. At the time, I fled, and then I left uh, Mang, Manghut. 
Je me suis enfui. I uh, left Manghood and I was being evacuated at the time Et to uh, different places. À différents endroits. Questions. Question. So you fled uh, and you left Manghood. Uh, was vous it at your own will or was Genre, it under duress? Uh, in other words, you were forced to leave Manghood. A response. Réponse. At that time, I was very fearful, uh, and then uh, we uh, were evacuated from one village to another, so we could not stay uh, being a monk anymore. Question. So after the arrival of the Khmer Rouge and they forced the monk to leave the pagoda and they burned down the pagoda, uh, where did you end up uh, at that time? Where did you leave for? The President. Le président. Uh, Mr. Witness, please hold on. Monsieur and Mr. Victor Coppe, you, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. Good morning. Um, I just heard the witness testify that he doesn't know uh, who were the ones that burned down the pagoda. Um, it might, have well, might as well have been uh, Lon old troops, we don't know. So summarizing that he had said today that the Khmer Rouge burned down the pagoda is inaccurate. Prosecutor, Mr. President, I refer to the record of interview of the witness, and earlier on, I asked him for clarifications. And in order to be precisely clear, let me ask the question again uh, to the witness. Mr. Witness, you said that the pagoda was burned down, and then they forced uh, the monks to leave pagodas. Uh, who actually burned down the pagoda? Was it the Lonol uh, soldiers uh, or the Khmer Rouge at the time? To your knowledge. A response uh, that I did not know. I, of all of a sudden, uh, the pagoda was uh, burned down, and we had to flee. Uh, uh, we had to flee uh, to the village. At that time, I went to Sopi village. Questions: When you got to Sopi village, uh, what did you do uh, immediately after you got there? Response. At that time, we only fled for our life. Uh, we uh, were frightened, and we uh, just uh, resettled over there. Question. When you got to uh, Sopi village, um, to your recollection, uh, when was it? What was the date uh, of your arrival in Sopi village? Response. I never thought of the date. So I do not recall it. Question. Did you ever work uh, with the uh, sector mobile brigade? Response. Yes, I, uh, at that time, was a worker uh, at the Trapengtmo dam work site. Question. Question. When did you start uh, working at the Trapengtmo uh, dam work site? Do you recall the date when you started working there? Response, Réponse. I do not recall the Je date. Question. Question. So when you arrived at the Pankmo work site, uh, what was your role uh, back then, role and what uh, were you supposed to do on a day-to-day -day uh, basis? À quoi ressemblait votre travail quotidien? Response. Réponse. At the times, we were made to uh, carry uh, dirt in à order to uh, build the dam. Question. So to your Question. knowledge, 
uh, who was the um, commander or the supervisor of the uh, work site? Response. I heard uh, from other workers that they call uh, the uh, supervisor at the site uh, by the name of Taval. Question. So, Mr. Witness, uh, just a point for clarification. When you got to the Bank More at uh, Denver side, did you assume any other role other than a worker who carry dirt uh, to build uh, them? Did you have any, for example, a role in the uh, mobile unit? Uh, in the in the sector's mobile brigade. Response. Well, at the time, uh, they uh, charged me with uh, the responsibility for the mobile unit. Uh, that was a separate appointment. Question. Uh, you were responsible Question. for a unit or a squad. Uh, how many members uh, were there in the squad? Combien and were you the chief of the squad, the squad or you the of a deputy chief or member of the squad? Can you please tell the court? Response. I was Response. the chief of the squad. Fifty, a uh, fifty-five member uh, squad. Question. Question. Were you company chief or platoon chief? Vous un chef de compagnie? Could you clarify it for the court? Pouvez-vous nous apporter cette précision, je vous prie? Answer. I was chief of a company. Question. What company was it? Was there any number for that company? Answer. I cannot recall it. I uh, do not recall how many companies uh, there were at that site. Question. When you were a company chief, so what company was it? Was there any number designated through that company? Compagnie portait un numéro. Answer. I cannot recall it, uh, Miss Pro Co Prosecutor, because it happened a long time ago. Question. In the written report of uh, the statement 00259942, that is my. English 00 and French 00 You stated that uh, you were appointed to be chief of company one. Do you recall uh, the statement you gave to the investigator? Answer. I cannot recall it. Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Question. Do you recall the names of uh, battalions chiefs? Des noms des chefs de bataillon. Answer. I cannot recall their names uh, since they were in different. Villages. Je ne me souviens pas de leur nom puisqu'ils étaient dans des villages différents. Co prosecutor, I am now referring to the written record of the interview. Khmer, Ian, on the same page. English is at is on the same page, both in the Khmer in English and French, and you stated. 
my company was under Chuong Battalion Chief. I heard that he is now in Siem Reap. I do not know whether he is alive or not. And above Chuong, there was there were Ta Val, Ta Tong, and Ta Peng. Ta Peng and Ta Tong were sector mobile unit chiefs and uh, they were the immediate subordinates below Taval. Could you tell the court whether Chuong was chief of a battalion at the time? Does this, uh, does this statement you know, est que ce que je viens de vous lire uh, correct? correct? Is the statement correct, rather? Answer. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. <coughs> Did do you ever attend uh, the meeting held by Ta Chuong or Ta Val at the time? Avez-vous jamais participé à une réunion organisée par Ta Chuong ou Ta Val à l'époque? Answer: Yes. Réponse: Oui. I used to be in the meetings and uh, I was instructed to work hard in building the dam. Et um, j'avais, je recevais l'instruction de travailler dur à l'édification du barrage. Question. I will come back Question. to ask about the, t the two individuals later on. Now, I am asking tard, about non? the conditions when you started working at the Pantomo Dam worksite. Upon your arrival, what kind of work did you do? And uh, what about working hours? When did uh, the work start? Answer. We started work from 7 in the morning until 10 or 11. And then we had a break. Question. What about in the afternoon and at night time? Were you required? to work in the afternoon and also at night and what was what were the working hours answer when the, the plot you know when there was uh, issue about plat, and then uh, uh, we were required to work at night Question regarding Question. Uh, the work plan. S'agissant du plan de travail. Was there any quota for each worker or for each chaque unit? And how many cubic meters of soil uh, were de was required de for terre, one worker on a daily basis? Do you recall it? Par jour. Vous en -vous? Answer: Réponse. Two cubic meters of soil. Uh, was given to one worker on a daily basis. Par par jour. Co prosecutor, you stated that uh, two Co cubic meters of soil was uh, given to uh, one worker daily. Who set out that work quota? Answer, the upper echelon set out the work quota for us. Question, who are you referring to when you state, when you made mention about upper echelon? Answer, Réponse. Taval, the chief Taval. of uh, the Trapentmo Dam work site. Le chef du site de Question. Question. When did he give 
such an order or what was it in a meeting or when he or was it when he went to the work site and uh, there were meetings meetings were convened to impose the work quota pour imposer le quota de travail Question. Question. During the meetings, les were, the, were they general meetings for everyone to attend, or were the meetings convened only among the chief of units? Qui rassemblait tout le monde, ou alors s'agissait-il de Answer. réunions seulement pour les chefs? The meetings were convened for everyone to attend. Pour que tout le monde participe. Question. After the Question. meetings, Et après after the instructions were delivered to workers, que les instructions avaient été transmises aux travailleurs, could workers at the work site accomplish the work quota? And if they failed to meet the work quota, was there any punishment si for them? Pas le cas, alors puni? Answer. Réponse. Those who were weak uh, requested help from others so that uh, we could um, meet the work quota for our unit. Question. Could you expand a little bit Question. further in relation to the work quota that is two cubic de meters de of soil? Could the workers accomplish the work Les quota? And what if what happened? And how did you do when the, you know one member within your group was not able to meet the work quota? Answer. Some were late in their accomplishment. Certains prenaient du retard dans leur tâche. And we agreed to help each other so that we could meet the work quota. Le quota de travail. Question. When you were working, who was the Question. one uh, vous who was there to verify the work quota, whether or not it was completed? And uh, did atteint. you know that person a report, make a report? Answer. It was the chief who Réponse. was there to verify whether one could meet the work quota. Question. You are referring to uh, the upper echelon or the one who was uh, there to verify the work quota. Do you recall his or her name? Answer. He was the Battalion chief, he Réponse, was responsible for ver the verification of a work quota. Question: Was it Chuang? Question: Était-ce Chuang? Or was some was uh, it someone else? Ou était-ce quelqu'un d'autre? Answer: Yes, it was Chuang. Oui, he was battalion chief who was chef responsible de for the verification of de la the work quota. Des quotas de travail. Question: Was he the one Question, who lui was there to verify the work quota on a permanent basis, or was there someone else oui, there to check the work quota? Answer. He was there on, you know, a daily basis. Réponse. Il était là de façon quotidienne. Question. 
when did he come to check the work quota? Was it in the morning, afternoon, or at night time? Quand venait-il le quota le matin, l'après-midi? Answer. He came to monitor and check the work quota while we were at the time that we were working. Question. Besides Chuong, was there anyone else from the upper level uh, who came down to verify the work quota? Answer. No. Uh, no. It was it was uh, Tawal who would come to verify the work quota. Co-prosecutor, thank you. Co what about Je food ration at Topentmo work site? How was it like? Answer. Regarding food ration, sometimes uh, there was a shortage of food and if the food could not be transported in time and then we would uh, have a shortage of Alors, food. Y avait you question, you stated that uh, when the, the food could not be transported question, in time there was a shortage of food. Ce, il n'était pas possible de, de transporter la nourriture et les vivres à temps, alors il y avait pénurie de Est-ce que les travailleurs sur le site de Trapentement avaient suffisamment à manger Answer. For instance, if 30 cans of rye were given exemple, to workers uh, within one unit, and when uh, we faced uh, the sort shortage of rice, uh, that food ration would be reduced. Riz, alors on cette ration -là. Question. Question. And how many of you were there in within the one unit that received uh, 30 cans of rice? Per day. À recevoir ces 30 boîtes de Answer. riz. I cannot remember Dans it, uh, Miss uh, Co-Prosecutor. I uh, was uh, then uh, mentioning, you know, an example about Je the time that uh, the food ration was reduced. Co-Prosecutor, you state that the food was reduced when there was a shortage of, uh, you know, a food ration. Answer. Uh, the food uh, rations would be reused when there was a shortage of, uh, you know, rice so that everyone could have the same, you know, amount of food ration. Co-prosecutor, I would like to know how much of food was reused. Was it reused to half or below? Even below half. Était, dans quelle proportion les rations étaient-elles réduites? Est-ce qu'elles étaient réduites de moitié ou de plus encore Answer, que de moitié? The food ration Réponse. was reduced to only half. La ration alimentaire était réduite de moitié. Of the amount that we received uh, on, you know, de ce que nous a permanent basis. En temps normal. Co-prosecutor, did it happen very often que cela concerning food reduction? Que l'on réduise les rations alimentaires. Answer: No, not very often. Non, pas très It souvent. happened once in a while. Cela arrivait de temps en temps. Question. Question. Do you recall how often did you suffer the shortage of food? Did it happen once in a fortnight or once, you know, some month? Answer. The food uh, shortage uh, would happen, you know, once in every 20 or tw 25 days. C'était une fois tous les 20 ou tous les 25 jours qu'il y avait pénurie alimentaire. Question. Once in every 20 or 25 réponse une fois tous les 20 ou plutôt question une fois tous les 20 ou 25 did i you know make a, a correct summary for that ai-je bien compris answer 
it would happen you know the shortage of food uh, would happen on the you know between the 20th and the 25th question. question what about the working condition or situation of worker at the dam work site and what about their health situation de travail qu'en était-il de leur état de santé answer regarding their health situation Réponse. president uh, please president. hold on uh, mr winner you oui, have the floor now mr copper uh, thank you mr president an observation um, also relating to earlier questions um, I would recommend that the prosecution, if asking questions, uh, limits the questions to what he knows as to the workers in his company or is in, in his unit, uh, or at least for what he knows. Um, it seems that the questions are now very general in terms of everyone who's working. If that's not the case, then, uh, then I'm mistaken, but that's how I understood the questions. Peut-être ai-je mal compris, mais en tout cas, c'est ainsi que j'ai compris les questions. Co-prosecutor, Co Mr. President, Monsieur I President, have asked him about the position of this witness back then, and he stated that he was chief of a company. So I am exploring uh, what he uh, has known about the situation at the time, President. Miss Co-Prosecutor, could you Madame be a little bit specific when asking questions? Are you asking about what happened within his unit, or are you asking about the situation, you know, in general at the dam work site? There were 30, perhaps 30,000 of workers at the dam site, so you have to be specific when you ask the question. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. I will do so. Mr. Witness, a while ago I was asking you about the health situation of workers. Have you got any idea about the uh, health situation of members within your own unit and, you know, members within other units close by? Answer. Regarding their health situation, I think I could observe that they were healthy enough uh, to work and to meet the work quota. Co-prosecutor, did anyone fall sick at that time and were there any medicines for them? Mr. President, President, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, please Monsieur wait and before you give your answer so that uh, the response is correct. You can take time to think how to respond before you answer. This can also leave time for the microphones to be activated. If uh, you respond uh, promptly without observing the microphone, si there will be a, an issue about the sound system, because here, uh, three languages, three working languages are used, and uh, your response uh, has to be interpreted into two different languages. And if you give your response uh, while the microphone is not activated yet, it means that there is no answer. Cela veut dire qu'il n'y aura pas de réponse. President, uh, co-prosecutor, could you repeat Président your Co last question for the witness? Co-prosecutor, uh, Mr. Witness, Monsieur le témoin. regarding the units uh, that you were a member of and regarding the units close by, à were there any sick unité. people? And how many of them? Dans votre propre unité, dans les unités à proximité, y avait-il des personnes malades et Answer. quelles fréquences? There were sick people, réponse. people who felt sick. Il y avait des personnes qui tombaient malades. Within each unit, four or dans five of them unités, would fall sick, and there was malades. a medic on standby to treat the sick. Un médecin ou membre du personnel soignant qui était d'astreinte et qui devait s'occuper des personnes malades. Co-prosecutor, 
I would like to have a clarification regarding the statement you gave to the investigator document E3 slash 5283 ERN in Khmer 00295946 English 00 32 French 00702924. You were asked by an investigator about the sick within your unit. You, your answer is, in my unit, many people became sick. 20 out of 100 people became sick. You further stated that we could find out who was sick and who were not when people were reporting for work. At the beginning Lorsque of the day, at the time, the sick people who reported that they were not able to go to work. The illnesses included diarrhea, cholera, headache, and dizziness. Food ration for those sick people was reduced to porridge. Unquote. My question is, you stated that uh, there were 20... Ma question est la suivante. People would fall sick, and a while ago, you stated that uh, there were four or five people who would fall sick at, uh, you know, at the work site. So, which statement is correct? Laquelle de ces deux versions est correcte? Answer: I Réponse. have no idea because of my bien. memory. I cannot recall it well. Je ne m'en souviens pas bien. Uh, the event happened a long time ago. I cannot remember it. Et je ne me souviens pas. Copla Cuta, to your Contre best votre recollection. À votre connaissance et d'après vos meilleurs souvenirs. Were there four, vos five, or twenty people? Uh, sick Combien within de uh, the unit. Dans votre unité? Quatre ou cinq, ou Mr. President. 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 Uh, please wait, Mr. Winner. You have Mr. the floor Mr. now. Council Kung Sam On. Kung Sam On. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to pose an objection to the question. It is a repetitive question. Witness already stated that he cannot remember it about the event. If uh, the co-prosecutor is uh, resisting on the answer, so. I believe it is a repetitive one, repetitive question. Co-prosecutor, the witness uh, gave uh, two different statements, and I know that he said he cannot remember well the event, but I would like to clarify the number uh, 4, 5, and 20, you know, it's a different, much different number. Mr. President. So the uh, previous statement can be quoted uh, to ask the witness so that uh, the witness can uh, respond whether uh, it is right or wrong. So uh, the question should be uh, specific and uh, we have to understand that uh, uh, the witness, uh, you know, have, uh, you know, sometimes limited ability to respond to the question posed. Co-prosecutor, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. You stated that uh, four or five uh, people fell sick, and in your written record of the statement, you stated 20 out of, you know, 100 people fell sick. So which uh, one is correct regarding your statement? Answer. It depended on, you know, the work. Uh, sometimes there were 
a few worker who fall sick, who fell sick, and some on some other occasion there would be many workers who would fall sick. Co-prosecutor regarding the sick, so you know on a daily basis, how many of them or would fall sick? You know, at the minimum. Answer. And four or five worker would fall sick at the minimum, and at most uh, twenty people would fall sick. Co-prosecutor, thank you. When the people fell sick. Was there any treatment for the sick, and were there, was there any medicine for the sick, and what type of medicine was given to uh, the sick? Answer, I uh, cannot recognize the type of medicine independent on the medic who administered the treatment or prescribed the drug. Co prosecutor, regarding your unit, uh, did anyone die because of illness? Answer no. Réponse non. Co-prosecutor, I have just read uh, one portion of the written record of your interview you gave to the investigator, and in that statement you made mention that food ration for the six people was reused to college. How did they do, you know, in regarding uh, food reduction? and? Uh, was food ration reused until that Donc, those sick people recovered? Les rations alimentaires ont été réduites jusqu'à ce que ces personnes malades se rétablissent. Answer. Réponse. There was a plan that the, the sick had to uh, be given only porridge, and after they had recovered, de they de would. Have rice to eat. On leur du riz. Co prosecutor, regarding hygiene at the Bank Mall site. Question. Est -il des How was the hygiene like? Were there any toilets or latrines par exemple, or des water des for workers to drink? potable pour les travailleurs. Oui, uh, dug a pit uh, as a latrine Nous avons creusé and as for uh, hygiene, uh, it was uh, very bad at that time. Uh, we, I uh, had my people boil water uh, to drink, uh, but that last did for only about months, and then after that we stopped doing that. Question. You said uh, you boil water uh, to drink uh, before uh, for months or so. So after that, what kinds of water did you drink then? Response. At the time we uh, drank water uh, directly. We carried. Questions. Where did you take the water from? Question. Et d'où venait cette eau? Response. It was from a uh, pond uh, nearby the construction site. Qui n'était pas très loin du chantier. Question. How about Question. Uh, accommodation? 
uh, place where you stayed uh, at night, uh, what was it like at the time? Response, uh, we built a, a communal hall um, and we used the uh, uh, palm leaf or tree leaf in order to uh, make a shelter. Question. You talk about communal hall. How many people uh, stayed uh, in the hall? And how far was it uh, from the actual construction work site? Response. Uh, it was not far. Uh, it's about uh, a few hundred meters away from the construction work site. Question, how many people live uh, in the uh, communal hall? Response, uh, one uh, unit uh, of one unit is housed under uh, one communal hall. Uh, Mr. President, I am about to move to the next uh, subject. Uh, I am under your direction. The President. Thank you. Uh, the time is now appropriate for a uh, short uh, recess. Uh, we will uh, adjourn now and resume at uh, 10.30. And once again, uh, it is um, reminded that uh, the prosecution and lead call lawyer for the civil parties, you only have one more session. Court officer, please uh, have the uh, witness uh, during the uh, recess and have him back in this courtroom uh, by 10.30. The court is now in recess. All rise.